Local football legend George Curry traces his 46-year career from being the team mascot to becoming the winningest head coach in the history of Pennsylvania high school football. He shares his old school insights on the nature of the sport and its profound bond with a winning quality of life. I always look at our team as a big family. I'm the father. My goal was to put them on the right path to success. Few high school football programs in Pennsylvania and throughout America can rival the sustained excellence of those coached by George Curry. For 45 years, Curry demanded excellence on the field and inspired it to continue off the field as well. Like the ancient Greek philosopher Aristotle, Coach Curry believed excellence was not an act, but a habit forged from two ironclad commitments. The first, discipline. And the second, my kids mentally tough. Physical toughness is one thing. Mentally tough. I always tell my player, you learn to do the unpleasant thing. You gotta do the unpleasant thing. I want to go to war with fighters. Warriors. I don't want to go to war with part-time player. Not everybody could play for George Curry. Not everyone. Those who stay with me, but into my style. And they're tough. They're tough kids. They love it. They love it. Curry coached about 2,000 players in more than 3,000 practices and well over 500 games during his career as head coach at Lake Lehman, Berwick, and Wyoming Valley West High Schools in northeastern Pennsylvania. In 1983, his defense allowed 18 points for the season. On the other side of the ball, Curry was employing a zone read offense almost a generation before it was seen in the NFL. As consistent as winning became for George Curry, so too was his consistent acknowledgement that such success could only come from a culture of teamwork and individual effort. There are no overnight sensations in winning football. My dad and mom were disciplinarians. My mother was Polish. She was tough. My dad was Lebanese. He was tough. I was an altar boy for 12 years. I lived by the church. I used to serve every morning. But also near the Curry residence was a football field. And it would be there that young George became evangelized as he witnessed a toughness displayed by high school boys doing unto each other that would become the wellspring for his football faith. Inspired and undeterred by his age, George went out for the team and made it. I was the mascot. I was five years old. I would put a uniform on. I run when the team would come out for warm-ups. I was the guy that left him out. Five years old. I was the water boy. I loved it. It was, it was like a passion with me. I played every position. And I liked to hit people. I just loved it. More than 700 players coached by George Curry have gone on to play college football, 200 of those for Division I schools. The dollar value of the scholarships Curry helped many of these players receive is estimated to be in the millions. The value of the education those scholarships funded, priceless. But Coach Curry also found something else personally satisfying. Well, number one, I like this strategy. We just executed to the T, and that was 
you know, a major part on Coach Curry. I mean, he was just such a perfectionist. He's so knowledgeable about every position. He coaches every position. He's the only guy I've known that ever coached every position on his team and can, and can do it. The biggest strength of Coach Curry is adjustments. If you're not very good at teaching and adjusting to people, you're, you're not going to win football games. George Curry's teams won football games. His 455 victories make him Pennsylvania's winningest high school football coach. At Berwick High, he won six state titles, four of those consecutively. Berwick was crowned national champions three times by USA Today. Curry was named National High School Coach of the Year twice. I hear my, all my players' rules. Two pages of rules. If you're drinking, you're gone. Drugs, you're gone. If you're fighting my teammates, you may be suspended. I used to make them get their hair cut. I used to cut their I don't care who you were, I was the top quarterback or the top player. If I didn't get a haircut, I did not walk into this field house. He would boot you right out. Don't cut class. Do well in school. If you flunk two subjects that week, you're ineligible. If I have to get you, you out the door. If I had practice at 8 30. Curry time, 8 o'clock. They were on the field at 8. For most of George Curry's coaching career, football was a far less complex game than it has become. Curry's teams won consistently, perhaps inevitably, by executing an old school approach to the game. It was pretty basic smash mouth football. We only ran seven, eight plays. You know, we had different formations. You only ran seven, eight plays. People knew you were running them. Each guy had to win their battle. It's how good that guy is across the ball. 43 to go in the football game from the one yard line. Bulldogs with the football at their own seven yard line. Long count. Robbins takes the snap off the left side and David Robbins is in for the touchdown. Hollis is back to throw, and he's looking long for Mike Bennett. Snap is there. Placement. Kick is up. He makes the catch at the 40, the 35, the 30, and Mike Bennett is going to go all the way. 93 yards for a perfect touchdown. Kick is good. It's good. A line drive kick just got through there. Robin gets in for the score, and Berwick, for the first time today, has the lead with in 2015, George Curry was diagnosed with amyotropic lateral sclerosis, ALS, Lou Gehrig's disease. But he remains true to the philosophy he has imbued in thousands of young people throughout his life, both on and off the field, by embodying the essence of another philosopher, Mark Twain, who once observed, it's not the size of the dog in the fight, but the size of the fight in the dog. I know it's about a year ago. The only thing is my voice. Okay. I, I have voice amplifier. I still walk two miles a day. I could squat. I would do push up. But I'm, I'm a, I'm like, give it up. Make it, again, make it a good one. Make it a good one out there. That's it. Who ain't tomorrow, Doc? I told you. Think. These are your fresh clippings. You can stick that needle where. You just got to go out and tag people. Put a, put a stick on somebody tonight. Everybody. Coach was a major, major integral part of my life. I know him kind of as a father figure. My father passed away when I was when I was 15. And when you're done playing and see what he's done for you, 
I mean, it's, it's, it's fathomless of what the characteristics and everything you use in life that he taught you. God, family,